Hi, my name is Eric on behalf of Gadget Selby. Today we have the Xperia X8 by Sony Ericsson. It's uh, one of their cheaper Xperia models. Um, it's got a very nice curved shape here. Um, anyway, before I get onto that, we're going to I'm going to look into just a few of the features, tell you a bit about what it can do, and um, show you that it's running Android Gingerbread 2.3.5. So first things first, the actual phone is very nice to hold. It's, uh, it never slips out of my hand. The curve, I think they've got this spot on here. <laughs> Just ignore the Apple logo there. So it has a 3.2 megapixel camera on the back. No front facing camera unfortunately. Um, but I never tend to use that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, inside it's got a 600 megahertz processor, 168 megabytes of RAM. It comes with a 2 gigabyte memory card uh, running Android 2.1 on the phone. Uh, it has all the usual things like GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and it can connect to 3G networks. So if we look on the side here, we've got the volume rockers down and up, and we have a camera button which is also very handy. Um, you can use that to start the camera and you can use that to take the photos. On the left it's completely clear. On the top we have headphone jack and the on off button and lock button and standard micro USB charging and PC plug that we get on the most of the phones these days. On the bottom we have the standard three buttons that you get with Android. We've got the menu button, home button and back button. There you go, just giving you an example there. And on the bottom there's absolutely nothing. I assume that is just for receiving wireless signals, making it easier for the phone. And on the back here you've got the little speaker. Okay, let's have a quick look at the phone. So I press the middle button to bring it up. Um, as you can see it's already different to the Android 2.1. Um, so you can slide to the right to unlock or you can slide from the left to put it on silent mode and I've also with an extra mod I've installed you can slide down and that will take you straight to an app of your choice which I have set up to go straight to messages so let's just unlock it here okay straight away you can see it's a completely different layout to the usual Xperia X8 you've got apps on the home screen instead of the little widgets on the four corners and the menu is as so, there you go, you just click on the menu there and it shows all your apps and you go to look at them in an up and down motion here and it slides as well which is great so on the top you are free to remove widgets just in the bin or add them from your menu here if I just go into settings I can show you that I am indeed running Android version 2.3.5 right there. Sorry about the focus. I'm using an iPod Touch um, in really poor quality lighting to show you this video. It's probably not a very good start. So if there's anything else you want to know or you want to see any videos of specific uh, phones or products, I'll try my best to get my hands on them from friends or whatnot and review them for you. Um, this isn't necessarily a review, just more showing you that you can run Android 2.3.5 on the Sony Xperia X8. And I'd like to add that it does run a lot better than the 2.1 that comes with it. Everything is a lot more nippy. The 600 megahertz processor is more than capable of coping with it. And uh, messaging, I noticed in particular, um, was a lot easier to type. It was a lot faster, more responsive. The Android 2.1 on the X8 um, couldn't keep up with my typing, <laughs> but this um, this version can. I don't know whether that's Sony's fault or Android's fault, Google. Um, I'll leave that for you to decide. So it would be great if you guys could subscribe to my channel. This is my first video and I know it's not that up to scratch, but I will do my best to do what you guys want to hear. Thank you very much. Bye.